The project is a 12 hour music event and it's mainly to raise money for young carers, the charity. We're expecting many headliners to be there such as Taxman and Barbarics, including a few residents of the Swindon foyer. We're playing a half an hour set and we're not really a regular gigging band but because I'm helping out with this event, we decided to do another show and sort of bring it back together and practice a bit more. We don't have a drummer, we've got programmed drums. First of all, we got together to perform at Sophie's show, which was an all-girl show. So we originally wanted all girls in the band, but we couldn't find many girl members, so Rex in the band as well <laughs> as the guitarist. We came up with the idea of day and night for the name of the event because young carers, they look after their parents in the day and night, so we tried to link the name with that. The aims are to raise some money for the charity while at the same time raising the reputation and how people perceive the Swindon foyer to be. I think people perceive the foyer as quite a bad place. Before I moved in, my foster mother was um, quite worried because she did think that the foyer was full of people um, which are drug users, um, which are all related to crime. But there's a lot of reasons that people don't realise why people live here. Like, for example, I'm just here because I want to finish college, but I couldn't live at home. When we're not at college, jobs, anything like that, um, we just relax. It's, it's like a family as well. I mean, yeah. you've got like so many friends in here, you know, you knock on one person's door and you, you just uh, chill with them, really. It's, so all of us are in it together, really, and we like respect that. The planning meetings have been quite fun, actually. Um, we're usually sitting uh, around the table in this room every Wednesday. We have a list of all the different things that we've got to do, and then we all take it in turns to get each job done, so all together it gets done quite quickly, I think, and everyone's really organised. OK, so we start off with the um, contract that some of the residents have devised, so this is basically for everyone to sign before... Everyone brings their ideas together, like, works out what will work, what wouldn't work, and if not, then why it's not a good idea, because some people have got more experience in it than others. It's got to be that right balance, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, obviously, nice friendly, you don't but... want to be unapproachable. Like, That's, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, I totally agree with that. We've gone from the t-shirt designs to booking the artists, arranging the venue. We're just working as a big team, you know, yeah. a group. It's, it's good having opinions from everybody else. You, know, you get a job and you, you will do that job because you're enthusiastic and, you know, that's the job you've been given, so it's good. So it's been my job to contact all the bands and make sure all the timing's right and everyone's got the right kit. My role so far has basically been on the media side. I've been um, videoing some of the moments of the project. Finishing up my design, that took the last little bit. It's actually quite nice. I've gone round recording Dan Edwards, practising one of his sets in his room. <laughs> I'm just really excited for the actual event, but it's been cool because I've been given the opportunity to be in charge of quite an important role. Learned how to work as a team, um, to be more organised. It's also helping us work towards a V50 award, which is 50 hours of voluntary work, which can also go on our CV. I think it will probably inspire people, like it will show people that if they want to do something, they just set their mind to it and anything's possible, really. Just how we've managed to piece it together. I mean, it started off as a small thing. We got bigger and bigger, and the turnout's just gonna be brilliant. Yeah. You know, 700 people apparently um, planning to attend on Facebook. Isn't it? Because the venue has two levels, we decided to have a drum and bass night upstairs and more rocky downstairs. Then families can come in the day as well. And also, I've been given the opportunity to do my own makeup stand because I do makeup at college. 
Never judge a book by its cover. We are 57 candles looking for our flame. No two individuals ever the same. 57 individuals trying to grow, putting our talents out on show. Whether it's music, poetry or dance, trying to show the world our creative stance. Within the outside world, we are misperceived. Stories of wasted youth, drugs and violence. Believe me, this is wrong and misled. And if published, would be misread. If we were to listen to everything that's being said, we would be lost and shown down the wrong road and our talents would diminish and slowly erode. But given all the support and training we receive, we are motivated and taught to believe. Thanks to this, we take the right turn and our candles will forever burn. Our journey is here for all to see. Never judge a book by its cover. We've got a shout out to Sam Minnis, shout out to ESP for those top quality flyers, Kerry Sutcliffe, Steve Milkey, Ricky Woodward, Cameron. Big shout out to Chris D, thanks to Laura Farage, Alex Morgan Hayes, Peter Bishop, Ben Moore and Tony. And last but by no means least, a massive shout out to Amanda Driscoll for her dedication, time and effort. Thank you.